Hi everybody, Spice Dawn here, and I want to show you what I did in my foyer today. I changed from fall to winter, not Christmas, just winter. We did have snow flurries yesterday. Well, actually, we had more than flurries. We had about three inches, and today we had a few little flurries. But uh, I was ready, so I'm going to show you how I did my foyer. I do clustering of warmers. So hang on, let me turn this around. Okay, here's a shot from a distance. This is our diffuser with a shade that I had from the past that has snowflakes and I have it on the flicker mode. You, me, and the cats. Here are the warmers. Now, the main feature, I think, I think, unless it is the three uh, starry Christmas trees, but this on the end is called Diamond Crush Diamond. And it has a real like crushed glass mirrored finish. And I have it on the stand called Tin. So this one has a lot of bling. As you look at it, you can see all the crushed glass pieces. Now you don't want to rub your hand all over this. You might get a little sharp edge and you don't want that but it is just gorgeous. I've put some fake greenery and some fake plastic, although they look really cool, pine cones. Now, in the background are some paintings I've done. This is a painting, two set that I did. And here is one that I did. Look at the tree, the shadow of the pine in the back and birch. We had river birch, cardinal, and zen rock all come out, I think as warmers of the month, I think, at about the same time. And I did that painting for those. But check out these starry Christmas warmers. This is a tin tree with a whole bunch of teeny tiny star cutouts, which throw a beautiful wall pattern on the wall as well as glimmering off of these other rustic hammered tin looking things that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I have my warmers elevated. Uh, the problem is the base of this warmer is pretty dang big and it will not fit on a warmer stand. So I had to get um, three of our cork uh, trivets that you would set a hot pan on but they were like perfectly good because we're not messy. And uh, I used them to make a, bottom, a better, wider base for my winter display. But honest to God, you guys, I love this so much that I know I'm going to be coming out <laughs> in the middle of the night tonight just to take a look at it. Because I do that sometimes. I just sit there and think of what I did that day and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I better go check and make sure the trees are, aren't, aren't lonely. <laughs> of course they're not lonely, I clustered them together. So that is that. But clustering and hiding the cords with greenery, that's a great tip. I do have a Facebook page, Spiced On Tips to Share. Here's some cute little salt and pepper shakers that were a gift from a very good friend of mine. I would never use them as salt and pepper because they're just too cute. And I put them in with the greenery since they're little white birds. But how pretty is that? So you can go to my Facebook business page, Spiced On Tips to Share. And uh, I have more tips that I put on there. Bye.